Could the invisible forces of magnetism power the engines of tomorrow? Imagine a piston, not driven by gas or steam, but by the unseen push and pull of magnetic fields. Welcome to a world where we challenge the boundaries of imagination and experiment with the hidden powers of nature. Today we delve into an experiment that explores the potential of magnets to act as pistons. Picture this, a cylinder, much like the one you'd find in any engine. But instead of a traditional piston, we have a magnetic one, a strong neodymium magnet. Above it, another magnet, suspended in such a way that it aligns with our magnetic piston. The key to this experiment lies in the unique properties of magnets, their ability to attract and repel each other. When the two magnets are close, they repel, driving the piston down the cylinder. When the magnets are far apart, they attract, pulling the piston back up. This movement, this cycle of push and pull, mirrors the action of a traditional piston engine. But what about energy? How does this system work without combustion? It's simple. The energy comes from an external source, a motor that moves the upper magnet up and down. This motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy, which drives the cycle of attraction and repulsion. This experiment demonstrates a fundamental principle of physics. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted from one form to another. Here, electrical energy becomes mechanical energy, driving the cycle of the magnetic piston. But the question remains, can this concept be scaled up? Could we one day replace traditional pistons with magnetic ones? The answers to these questions, like all scientific explorations, remain in the realm of possibility waiting for us to uncover them. In summary, we've explored the intriguing concept of using magnets as pistons. We've seen how the forces of attraction and repulsion can mimic the action of a traditional piston and how an external motor can supply the necessary energy. And we've pondered the potential applications of this concept from engines to machinery and beyond. This is a testament to the boundless potential of human curiosity, a reminder that even the most familiar objects can be seen in a new light when we dare to ask, what if? And as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, who knows what other invisible forces will harness in our quest to understand and shape the world around us?